Sega first made the SC3000, a computer with a built-in keyboard. But when Sega learned that Nintendo had plans to create a games-only console, they decided to do the same. This was the start of console wars between Sega and Nintendo that would continue for many years to come. Both the SC-1000 and the Famicom were released in Japan on exactly the same day, July 15, 1983. Games that were featured in the SG-1000 lineup included Super Tank, Congo Bongo, which looks a lot like Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, a true classic arcade game, and James Bond 007, which was the second James Bond game in the whole franchise. And although these games were fun, they weren't as popular and recognizable as many of the Nintendo games, like Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., and Papa. Nonetheless, the SC-1000 became a huge success. While Sega expected to have sold 50,000 units by the end of 1983, they ended up selling 160,000 units. The SG-1000 Mark II came out a year after the first console. It was redesigned and had a port with an optional keyboard. There was also an optional add-on called the Card Catcher that allowed users to play Sega card games in addition to cartridges. Fun fact, Hideki Sato, who designed many of the Sega consoles, thought the original cartridges looked like small black tombstones. So he replaced them with Sega My Cards. He later stated that it was one of his proudest achievements during the SG-1000 era. In October 1985, the Sega Mark III was launched in Japan, which featured enhanced graphical capabilities over its predecessors. However, the console was not successful at launch. One year later, the Sega Mark III was completely rebranded as the Master System for its launch in North America, with the most difficult than it did in Japan. The pressure was very, very high, Sega developer Mark Cerny said, so high that an average game would only have three months of development time. No wonder many games at launch weren't that memorable. Luckily, more memorable games arrived in the following years, including Prince of Persia, Castle of Illusion, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. And last, definitely not least, Sonic the Hedgehog, which would become the most recognizable and popular franchise for Sega. Nintendo had also rebranded their Famicom system for the North American market with the NES or Nintendo Entertainment System. Both Sega and Nintendo spent around $15 million to promote their consoles in North America. The Sega Master System. With more accurate controls, more detailed graphics, more levels of play. In 1990, Sega released the Master System 2, a cheaper and smaller model in North America and Europe. While Nintendo dominated the American market, Sega was successful in Europe. But overall, Sega turned out to be no match for Nintendo.